six things you should never ask any man. Hi, I'm Edwina, your exclusive dating to marriage coach, and I'm here on Talk It Through Tuesdays. Good to have you back here again. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to dating, even in a relationship, you just want to ask so many questions. I mean, there's so many things you want to know. There's so many things that you want to um, explore, but there are six questions that you should never ask a man. Um, there's plenty more, but I want to definitely talk to you about these six that you should never ask. They have certain consequences, they have certain um, effects that will happen to that man that you're dating or on a first date with or um, exclusively dating or even in a relationship with. Um, so I want to help you avoid those pitfalls. Are you ready? Number one. I can't live without you, baby. Please, never, ever, 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 ever say that to a man. A man doesn't want to feel that you are going to be stuck to him like glue. He doesn't want a needy woman. He doesn't want a woman who is going to be a liability. That's just because you found him. That's it. You're stuck to him and you're never going to leave him. And he's going to be um, claus feeling claustrophobic because you're stuck to him. Please, no. That man that has asked you out, was dating you and loves you, loves that part of you and that independence that you have. Now, when you're in a relationship, you're going to have to learn to have interdependence when you're dependent on each other for certain things. But he wants that part of you that he was attracted to whereby he fell in love with the, the passion of work that you were doing and the professional edge of you and your work ethic and etc etc please ladies never tell a man you can't live without him it would scare him off or it would attract the man that would now know that he can control you he can abuse you because you now were showing him that once he has you, he doesn't have to maybe do any more work. And ladies, we don't want that. Number two, will you marry me? Ladies, if we are not going to ask a man out, ask him for a date, why will we be asking a man to marry us? No, it's very masculine. It's not feminine. And that is something that we do not encourage in this Black Swan Relationship Academy. It also shows that you are needy and you've, you're too forward and you're being very pushy and you're being very forward and you don't want the man to be a man. Now we all want the man to be a man. There are certain ways that we can encourage the man to marry us and say to him, I don't see myself with anybody else in terms of marriage. I see you as the number one person. That's completely different than saying, will you marry me and get down on one knee? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's not be doing that, ladies. OK, so if you're stuck in that relationship and you want to get from exclusive dating to marriage, let's talk. These are some of the things that we will speak about. It's definitely about leaning back into your femininity, being more scarce, having fun, living a life without him so that he chases after you and remembers the type of woman that you are and how he needs you to be his one and only, not the other way around. Number three, telling him that his friends are nice. <gasps> Ladies, if you want to go out with his friends, go out with his friends. Do not spend your time with your man, your boyfriend, your potential. I really like how your friend X, Y, Z, is just so handsome. I just love how he goes to the gym. I love how he's taking care of himself. Stop, stop, stop. You don't want your man to feel insecure. You don't want your man to start feeling 
um, that his self-esteem is, is dropping and his self-worth is dropping. And he might even start thinking certain things like, what's going on? Why are you talking about his friends all of a sudden? Do you like his friends more than him? Stop. Stop. Keep those thoughts to your head if you need to. But don't be saying that to your man. You wouldn't like it if your man all of a sudden was saying, I like your best friend. I just like her shape. I really like how she giggles. And I like how she... No. You wouldn't like that. So don't do that either to your person, your special person, your man or that guy that you're dating. Number four. My ex used to pick me up from work all the time and take me home. Oh, my ex always used to cook dinner on Saturdays. My ex always used to give me money so I can do my hair and I can always go out. I know I'm being a bit of a drama queen in this, but no man wants to know what your ex did, okay? That's why he's your ex. He exited your life and your current man, your future man, does not want to be playing and competing against your ex who has gone. You have chosen this new man for a reason. So why are you talking about your ex? If your ex did certain things, remember I spoke to you about positive reinforcement. These are some of the things you can speak to your man about and encourage him to start doing. Oh, I really like it. When um, I go out and you come back and you've made some dinner and it was what I was speaking about the other day. I really like those surprises. It just makes me feel wonderful. Thank you, that just thank you, okay? But please don't bring up your ex again, okay? Number five, I don't like your mum. Who, oh, my goodness, this is a death wish. <laughs> if you understand, many men and their mothers are sometimes a no-go, or no-go area. Not in a sense where you can't say anything about them, but you have to be very careful when you speak about their mother. Now, we're not saying that they're mama's boys or anything like that, but their mothers are such a sensitive subject to them. Even if you're not getting on with the mother, there are certain ways that you can speak to your man about it, whereby he will not see it that you are tearing down his mother, the woman that brought him into this world, and the reason why he's here to be your man. Now, some men see their mothers as idols and they can never do any wrong. Um, so be careful of those type of men um, because you want a man that's going to put you first. But obviously remember that his mother has a special part in his heart. And if you say anything negative about it, you will probably be in the doghouse. I mean, you would probably not be that woman that he's seen as loved and cherished anymore because you've touched the subject. So be careful when it comes to talking about his mother, even if you don't like her. You need to find something about her that you like and express this in a way to him. And if you don't like her, still express this in a way to your partner so that you are still on amicable terms. Because at the end of the day, she's going to be your mother-in-law. And if you don't want her to be your mother-in-law, stop dating that man. Last but not least, number six, why can't you be like other men? It's a bit similar to one of the points I've mentioned earlier, but this is about comparison. And we know that comparison is not wise. You don't want to be compared to any other person because you're unique, you're special, and you're different. So why compare this man, someone at your workplace? Oh, why can't you just be like my boss who's driven and he's future focused and he's always giving me ideas and motivating me and no, he is one of a kind, he is unique. He has got your heart, not your boss, not that other person you're comparing him to. So ladies, never compare your man to any man, not even your ex, okay? What I wanted to also say is, if you know any other questions that we should never ask our man, please leave a comment. And um, let me know about these comments and if there's any of them that you've done and your thoughts on them. And if you would like to book a discovery call with me, by all means, click the link in the description and let's have a talk because I want to move you from being stuck in your relationships or your dating journey and get you to be exclusive, engaged and definitely married. So I look forward to hearing from you on another Talk It Through Tuesday.
Well done for coming to the end of this video. What I want to ask you is, what have you learned? What is your takeaway? And what are you going to start practicing right away? Those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look. So I can have a look, the coaches can have a look. And I promise you, we read every comment. We may not be able to reply to every comment, but we read all the comments and we want to see how you are growing. And we will see you on the next video.